Yo guys, what is up? Pentagram 46 here and today we're playing the 2K Showcase mode in WWE 2K15 as I do really enjoy the Showcase and Career mode on this game. They have two really good and I've also got the DLC one more match and I don't have Hall of Pain or anything. But I've got Hustle Lawyer to Disrespect, Best Room Bear Aries. We're going to do it all in order. I've already done the first one. Um, I don't know how, but I already have. Because for some reason in this game, like if you don't, like when you skip the like sometimes when you skip like your winning celebration or whatever you skip a cinematic after 2k showcase the game just will sit there loading the yellow circle and it's not gonna load so we're gonna do this one again just because you know for the video and we're gonna have to skip this sadly if you've already if you haven't seen this and you guys can't see right now it's just the intro um, I don't want to get, you know, copyright or anything like that. Because if I let you guys watch it, then that's just stealing the content. It's not a reaction or anything of the sort. And if I'm just sitting here talking over it like I am now, what's the point of you guys even watching it? So I'm just waiting for it to finish loading. We'll be back when we get into the match. Alright guys, we're loading in. Once again, I'm sorry. If, I'm sure you can find the trailers online. Um, or if you even have this game, you can watch them yourself and then watch the video. CM Punk's making his entrance now, it's nothing special. And I've turned off all the music as well for copyright. It's just so sad that we have to be so cautious about a story mode in a game. You know, obviously Cena's getting booed out of the building, which is normal. And here we go, for the WWE Championship. Just drank some water there. Here we go. So I'm CM Punk, of course, because we all know who wins this match. I'm not even going to say it, but I mean, it's pretty obvious since I'm CM Punk. But anyway. Yes, CM Punk will. But then he'll come back two weeks later. This is about skill and power. So it's going to be full uncut, guys, except for the cinematics, the trailers, and whatever when we go into matches because they have to be cut out for copyright reasons. And this, is, I just love 2K15's My Career. It's not my favourite game. No, 30 years of WrestleMania is definitely, I prefer that a lot more than this. This is still really, really good. 2K15's 2K showcase was shit. And then 2K7 take out showcase to claim they worked harder on My Career. What a load of shit. It's the exact same as 2K16's My Career, except it's got Paul Heyman. And then 2K15 is the best micro out of them all, and that had two 2K showcase storylines. 2K16 only had one. They're going to pull their head in and make a good game. Like the game, this is just like the only problem with my career, and that's the only, the only reason. The only reason why people dislike it, and people that, like always disagree with me when I tell them this, but it's true, is that your career ends when you. Your career ends. Fuck no, I'm having a freaking mind blank. Your career ends when you win the WWE title, which is sort of annoying, but. Dude, it's a lot better than. Have actually, it's better have, It's better when you get storylines and all that, rather than just having a guy and win matches like you guess these fans have to do. And, special tier 7 facing the same guy, over and over and over and over and over again. So boring. Because they still haven't fixed that glitch on 2K17. I don't know, I went back into it the other day. And they still haven't fixed it. It's like, I'm not going to play this game. I wasn't, don't really want to play it anyway. But if it's a glitch, why would I play it? And the, the game's how old I have played it once this year. And it's, me, it's this year's game. It's for, two, it's for 2017. What's he going to do here? Oh my God. It looks like John Cena is going for the AA. Oh, look at this. Punk, he's out of the AA. One second, guys. I'll be back. Sorry about that, guys. We've had people out of war and we're back in this game. Cena's going for an STF on CM Punk. CM Punk, he's not going to tap out, as if he's going to tap out. Yeah, I think I stuffed up the first one. I wasn't paying attention to the herd. People. Punk into the GTS. Not the GTS, crap. The Anaconda Vice. The Anaconda Vice, whatever. Alright, so next we're just going to critically damage John Cena, so we're going to get... Oh no. No, Cena, freaking comeback. 
John Cena over the outcome of this match. You know, come on, Vince McMahon did say that, hey, I take calculated risks. That's how I created my empire. But he did admit that he's afraid that John Cena won't beat CM Punk here tonight. He did what he had to do to secure Punk a deal, but it didn't happen. Well, I just think there's a better way of going about the whole situation. But we'll so we're gonna we're, we're gonna save a finish check. I'm sure we're gonna have to do that. Use that another time. So we're gonna save our finisher, and hopefully we can get a good. And that was before he was even part of the game. Right, we're just gonna use it when we get up. You get unlimited reversal in this game as well. Like, having a cap demand for reversal is sort of stupid, but I mean, then again, it's just designed so you can't reverse over and over again. So, I'm still trying to get used to the reversals in this game because they change it every year, which is just annoying. It's not my just because you change reversal doesn't make it a brand new game, it just makes it annoying to get used to that and then you're done with it. No, oh, because I freaking moved towards him. This could help me get him. No, I can't. Oh, why they change it to A? That's the last thing I know. I wish I just kept it to A, X, Y, B. So it performed the GTS. Thought that would happen. You can't say that John Cena brought this upon himself by doing the right thing. John Cena was doing what he thought was the right thing, and if this is the outcome, this is what happened. Then he's only got himself to blame. Sometimes when you try to play hero, it doesn't always turn out the way you expect. I swear he's gonna move at the last second. Like, I don't like the way yeah, see, look at that. Look, what a piece of shit, sure John Cena. Oh, John Cena counters. If he loses here to Punk, you know, we asked that same question earlier tonight on social media. More than 5,000 comments were posted in just under two hours, and all the posts can be summed up in one word pandemonium. Well, John Cena is the face of the company for now. He's the only No, oh, go away, John Cena. I think, is this on Legend? It's a normal way wow. I'm actually doing really bad against Legend. <laughs> I mean, normal, whatever. Alright. Oh, cool, we've got a finisher for that. Nice. There we go. So we should be able to hit him here. Oh, we're going to get a cinematic. And, Sam, and John Cena are out of the ring, the wrong person. Champions advantage, ooh. He'll retain the championship, and Punk knows that. And Punk's got to get Cena back in the ring before Cena's counted out. Do have any chance at winning the title? You're right about that, but that's 240 pounds of dead weight, but he, he gets him back in. And now Punk has to try whoa, to cover Whoa, 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 What? Mr. McMahon and the executive vice president of talent relations, John Laurinaitis, are out here. For what? Why are they out here? Well, I mean, this match is about Mr. McMahon's legacy. Punk is threatened to leave the company with the WWE oh, title. Oh, shit. The the and then Vince McMahon, yep, going to try and call Oh, uh, what? Yeah, that totally happened. Why did I? Why did I do that? Because I've got no stamina. I can't even make it realistic. I should have just made it so that you just you just do it. You just it just does it in the cinematic. All this happens in the cinematic. GTS. Go to sleep. Cover. Or oh. alright, so close to the ropes, but I won. And I've got it. There's, there's still got entrance music. I've still got the um, theme music on, which is sort of annoying. But hopefully, we don't get copyrighted for this. So this will be episode one, guys. We're gonna do it in matches. If this is a good response, we'll do uh, the next part, like on video. I'll record it, and we'll just wait and see if you guys like it. So yeah. Like, why can't they make it actually get McMahon on the headphones? So stupid. Uh, uh, give me that, uh, give me Come on. Cash it in. Get Alberta Lider 
now. Come on, let's go. Del Rio, Rio, the money in the bank winner, and Del Rio's going to come down and try to cash it in for the title. Oh, look out! Desperate times for Mr. McMahon, but Punk caught him with a roundhouse kick. Del Rio is down and out. And so is Mr. McMahon. The referee never rang the bell. Del Rio never had an opportunity to cash in the contract. And look, Punk is actually leaving. Mr. McMahon's 50-year legacy of the WWE Championship has got up in smoke. Look at poor Mr. McMahon. What's he going to do? This is awful. They literally shouldn't have made a new title. I mean, just made a new WWE Championship. That just took away from everything that happened. You know, like, oh, so let's just make a new one. You know, that's sort of retarded. But anyway. That was the end of the first episode, guys. If you enjoyed it. So here's the thing with the UI circle. It's, it's not, it's not going to finish loading. It's going to see you forever. And thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys want to continue this series, because I'm not going to continue if I don't get, like, a good response in the comments, hopefully we'll continue it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And, of course, I'll see you guys all later.